Hey friends, today is Monday and I am going to do a little bit of cleaning for you. I am really struggling to get motivated today. Got Mattia to school. Um, I am just not wanting to do anything. I don't know. It's about, with the wind chill, it's below zero today. And I'm just not wanting to do anything. I have a dentist appointment later on this morning and that just stresses me out to the max. I hate going to the dentist. And I'm not sure why every little tiny thing with me um, ends up being a huge deal. I mean, typically when I go, they're like, oh, you're just coming in for a cleaning. Oh, let's just replace that filling. And then I end up having a root canal and a crown and 400 caps and I don't know. So just going to the dentist creates so much anxiety. Um, and then I'm going to get my hair done. It's not horrible. Look at the grays. I mean, <clears throat> it's happening. Um, but I'm just going to have her put, yes, I'm looking at my viewfinder. I'm just going to have her put a little bit of blonde in the top and kind of brighten myself up. I have a job interview. Um, just try to kind of brighten my life. So let's get started on this house and see what we can accomplish. See you in a bit. <laughs> curious how many of you leave your toaster plugged in comment um, in the comment section below I have this horrid fear of toaster fires I'm not really for sure what the statistics are on toaster fires but I never leave it plugged in and it drives my family crazy do you leave your toaster plugged in always be wearing some crappy hoodie that belonged to somebody else and pajama pants but life is what it is let there be light
dog pee. It's like the ugly stepsister. Nobody wants to talk about it, but it happens, especially if you have boy dogs because they hike their leg on everything. So my husband got a little anxious when he was building our fire and he blew on some sparks. He was not a boy scout, which created a huge mess of ashes on the fireplace hearth. So then he decided to pour a cup of water on it. So I'm going to try to clean that up. It's about thought I shut a dog in the door. It is, um, like I said, negative something. I have pretty much cleaned up the family room. Um, I need to do a little bit of dusting. We have hung out in here. We are just lazy bums um, during the weekend. And this is just a shadow on my floor. I promise that's not dirt. Um, but I pretty much gotten everything picked up. I am going to use my steam mop and steam uh, my floors a little bit just because of the salt that was brought in on our shoes. And then I'm done. I'm going to go upstairs and get myself cleaned up um, and then get my hair done really quick and I have a dentist appointment. I'll uh, tune back in later and show you guys um, what I am making for dinner. If you want to see a certain video, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get that up for you. I will be trying to clean upstairs um, for you guys at some point. So I just got my steam mop ready. I use a shark. This is actually going on five years old. The pads, if you saw me just put the pad on there, they are washable. This thing is amazing. I do use uh, purified or distilled water in it and it works great. So let's get this done. So if you're not familiar with a steam mop, um, when you push down on this handle, it activates the steam. Um, this is an awesome cleaning solution if you have little kids or pets or you just don't want to use chemicals. I have found, I've used this on hardwood for five years and then I have found it's truly the best thing to clean hardwood floors. Um, everybody comes in my house and they're like, why are your floors so shiny? And I mean, I don't use anything on them, but the steam mop. I know there's lots of different versions. I know you can get mops that um, spray the cleaner out as you're using them, but I just prefer the water. So let me know if you have one or um, you'd like more information on this one. All right, so a little bit of this was staining from before. Um, I feel like I'm a fairly clean person, but this is the dirt that was pulled off my floor uh, this cleaning session. So yes, I think they do a great job. All right, I have gotten ready for the day. I actually decided that I am not getting my hair done. It's just one of those things that I am going to have to learn that I'm not gonna do now that I am not working and bringing in the extra cash. So I will be okay with that. Um, I thought I would give you a quick peek at what I have going on for dinner. Um, I will show you a little bit more of this as I make it uh, this evening and what it looks like. I've made this for years. It's a broccoli chicken bake. Um, I just have some broccoli. This came in one of those huge bags um, from Sam's. Um, so I have that. I just set it in the sink to thaw out. I have several little pieces of uh, frozen boneless skinless chicken breast. Um, I'm not for sure how many are here, but I will cut that into chunks, uh, fry it up in a skillet 
with the broccoli and a little bit of onion. And then you add that, um, some cream of mushroom soup. I'll add some other seasonings, chives, pepper, things like that. And then you add that to a casserole dish. I just have some stale bread. It's a great recipe if you have things that you need to use up. This is just about five slices of bread that was left in the pack. So I've cut it into chunks. I'm just gonna let it dry out a little bit. And then I will add this to the top. We'll put some cheese on it and we will bake it. Um, it is a really simple meal. You could use green beans, um, whatever vegetable that you would have, if you have any vegetable medley left. So I will show you what it looks like in the pan. So I put the chicken mixture the, with the broccoli in the casserole dish. I actually sprinkled just a little bit of the dry Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning on top. Um, and then this now has that bread that I cut up this morning. I'm going to add cheddar cheese to the top and then when I'm ready we will bake it until the cheese melts and everything gets bubbly. And I will show you what it looks like. All right, so we have the cheese on top of the chicken and the bread, and I will bake this at about 350 until the cheese melts and it starts to get bubbly. All right, here's the finished product. It's dark outside, so the lighting is crappy in here. Um, this is my plate. This is the chicken broccoli casserole all baked and served. I have some cottage cheese, some uh, chicken flavored rice, and a deviled egg. Uh, that's all I have for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.